Bible words and verses, what the Bible says. Unto us a child is born. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom to order it and to establish it with judgment and with justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. The Sign of Jonah Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Three days and three nights. Then certain of the scribes and of the Pharisees answered, saying, Master, we would see a sign from thee. But he answered and said unto them, An evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign, and there shall no sign be given to it but the sign of the prophet Jonas. For as Jonas was three days and three nights in the whale's belly, so shall the Son of Man be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. Jesus answered and said unto them, Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Then said the Jews, Forty and six years was this temple in building, and wilt thou rear it up in three days? But he spake of the temple of his body. When therefore he was risen from the dead, his disciples remembered that he had said this unto them, and they believed the scripture and the word which Jesus had said. Christ was buried on a Wednesday evening and rose from the dead on a Saturday evening. What about a Friday evening burial and a Sunday morning resurrection? That's 36 hours or one and a half days, but 72 hours is three 24-hour days. A Friday evening burial and a Sunday morning resurrection would be 36 hours or one and a half days, or in other words, two nights and one day. Christ was buried on a Wednesday evening and rose from the dead on a Saturday evening. That's 72 hours or three full days, or in other words, three days and three nights. 72 hours is three days and three nights. A full day has 24 hours. 12 hours of darkness and 12 hours of daylight. Jesus answered, Are there not 12 hours in the day? If any man walk in the day, he stumbleth not, because he seeth the light of this world. But if a man walk in the night, he stumbleth, because there is no light in him. God's reckoning of a 24-hour day, 12 hours of evening, darkness or night, starting at sunset, followed by 12 hours of morning, light or day or daylight, starting at sunrise. And God called the light day, 
and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. God created a seven-day week, starting with the first day, Sunday, and ending with the seventh day, Saturday, or the Sabbath. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day, and hallowed it. Buried on a Wednesday evening and rose on a Saturday evening is correct, but to be even more precise and remembering God's reckoning of time, where a day starts in the evening at sunset. Christ was buried just before sunset as Wednesday Abib 14 was about to end and Thursday Abib 15 was about to begin. And likewise, Christ rose just before sunset as Saturday Abib 17 was about to end and Sunday Abib 18 was about to begin. Three days and three nights. Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. For I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures. and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day, according to the scriptures. From that time forth began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed, and be raised again the third day. There were two Sabbaths. Knowing that between the burial and the resurrection there were two Sabbaths, let's take a close look at the various Bible passages with the following two words, preparation and Sabbath. The verses provided are in sequence as presented in the Bible. The two Sabbaths, Thursday and Saturday, and the two preparation days, Wednesday and Friday, a close examination of the different verses with preparation and Sabbath. Why examine the Bible verses with preparation and Sabbath? To establish which preparation and which Sabbath the verses refer to in context. In light of Jesus' sign, three days and three nights, 72 hours, the sign of Jonah. The chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate on Thursday Abib 15, the High Sabbath. In other words, the next day that followed the day of the preparation, Wednesday Abib 14. Now the next day that followed the day of the preparation, the chief priests and Pharisees came together unto Pilate, saying, Sir, we remember that that deceiver said, while he was yet alive, after three days I will rise again. Command therefore that the sepulchre be made sure until the third day, lest his disciples come by night and steal him away and say unto the people, He is risen from the dead, so the last error shall be worse than the first. Pilate said unto them, Ye have a watch, go your way, 
make it as sure as you can. Nisan Abib 15, Thursday, the High Sabbath. The guard at the tomb. The tombstone is to be sealed for three days. From Thursday, Nisan Abib 15, the High Sabbath, till Sunday, Nisan Abib 18. So they went and made the sepulchre sure, sealing the stone and setting a watch. In the end of the Sabbath, in other words, when the weekly Sabbath was over, at first light, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, which is Sunday morning of Abib 18. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn toward the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the sepulchre. The day of preparation was Wednesday, Abib 14, the Passover, and the Sabbath was Thursday, Abib 15, the High Sabbath. And now, when the even was come, because it was the preparation, that is, the day before the Sabbath. And when the Sabbath was passed, Saturday, Habib 17, the weekly Sabbath, the women had bought spices on Friday, Habib 16. Friday was the only business day on which the women could have bought the spices. Why Friday and not Wednesday to buy and prepare spices? Because no one knew that Jesus would be killed. Jesus had prophesied, but their ears were closed to this prophecy until the angels reminded the women at the tomb. The apostles also were reminded later that Jesus should have been killed and raised the third day. The women followed Jesus throughout the events that took place on Wednesday and had no time to buy spices and did not even know that Jesus would die. If the women had spices on Wednesday, they would have used them on Wednesday at the tomb. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome had bought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. The preparation day was Wednesday, Abib 14, and the Sabbath was Thursday, Abib 15, the High Sabbath. Nisan, Abib 14, was a Wednesday. Jesus was buried near the end of Wednesday, Abib 14, the Passover, just before sunset, which was the preparation day for the High Sabbath, Thursday, Abib 15, the feast or annual Sabbath, not the weekly Sabbath. And that day was the preparation, and the Sabbath drew on. And the women also, which came with him from Galilee, followed after and beheld the sepulchre, and how his body was laid. Nisan Abib 14 was a Wednesday. The women left the sepulchre after Jesus was laid in the tomb. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments, and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. Nisan Abib 15 was a Thursday, the High Sabbath, the Feast Sabbath, not the Weekly Sabbath. 
Misan Abib 16 was a Friday. The women bought and prepared spices on Friday, the first business day in which to buy the spices, and rested on Nisan Abib 17, a Saturday, the weekly Sabbath. One more time. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. According to what commandment? This commandment. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. In other words, the women rested on the High Sabbath, Thursday, bought and prepared the spices on Friday, and the women rested on the weekly Sabbath, Abib 17. Friday, Abib 16. The women bought and prepared the spices on Friday, the only day on which work was allowed and rested on the weekly Sabbath, Saturday, Abib 17. And they returned and prepared spices and ointments and rested the Sabbath day according to the commandment. Wednesday, Abib 14 was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour was about six in the morning. In this case, it's Roman time, not God's reckoning of time. And it was the preparation of the Passover and about the sixth hour. And he saith unto the Jews, Behold your king. The preparation was Wednesday, Abib 14, the Passover, and the Sabbath day was the High Sabbath, Thursday, Abib 15. Nisan, Abib 14, Wednesday. Later that day, approaching the evening of Abib 15, the Passover is the preparation day for the High Sabbath, Abib 15, an annual or feast Sabbath, not the weekly Sabbath. The Jews, therefore, because it was the preparation that the bodies should not remain upon the cross on the Sabbath day, for that Sabbath day was an high day, besought Pilate that their legs might be broken, and that they might be taken away. The preparation day was Wednesday, Abib 14, the Passover. There laid they Jesus, therefore, because of the Jews' preparation day, for the sepulchre was nigh at hand. Here's the mystery of godliness. And without controversy, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. This gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come.